Hi guys, this is Billy from adultcello.com. Um, got a question from a student recently and I thought it was just a really good question because it's something I remember struggling with when I was starting out on my cello journey. So I thought I would just kind of answer it publicly. So what we're talking about here is the bow hand and basically how involved the bow hand has to be. Um, and what we have is a situation where things start out pretty comfortable, then as we get further and further to the tip, you know, of course, we're going to pronate and we're going to be working a little bit harder. But it's critical to remember that as we come back in, it's okay and it's recommended, obviously, to re-establish kind of a relaxed hand, okay? So at the frog, we kind of, our weights, you know, it's right here with us. So it's nice and comfortable, okay? The problem is, we get out here and then suddenly, okay, now we have to create all this strange torque so that we don't end up just sliding over the surface of the string. That's fine and that's, you know, not terribly difficult to do, but what I found challenging and the student as well is kind of reminding ourselves that, okay, just because I was working much harder out here, once I get back to the, you know, our kind of happy place or happy zone, we can go ahead and go back to that more relaxed hand usage where basically the bow is doing more of the work, okay? So here's like a little exercise to practice. We're gonna do just a bunch of up bows. We're gonna start at the tip. Let's start on the A string because this will be kind of the clearest example. Start at the tip, we're gonna pop it into action and then we're just gonna ride it in. Okay, and I'll explain that in a second. So here we go. Okay, so I did kind of a hyper pop just to give the idea. You don't have to do like a cacophonous pop like that at the start of your bow stroke. But the idea is you want to overcome the inertia. And then because, especially on the A string, we have gravity, go ahead and allow your hand to focus on your fingers and your hand relaxing as you come in, okay? Because you have plenty of arm weight. You actually honestly have too much arm, arm weight. And if you don't take care of that, your arm would just fly down and you'd have a huge crescendo, okay? Um, so the idea is you just kind of pop the string in motion and then actively focus on allowing your fingers to do less and let gravity take over and then you're basically now just managing the weight of your arm. And that's how you control the speed of the bow coming in and how you control the thickness of the ribbon of sound you're making. Okay, so let's do one more time. I'll try to do less of an insane pop. Okay, so now let's do the same thing on the D string. Very similar. So all of that arm weight is coming back in to the center of our body, so this is just much more comfortable. So focus on your hand. I'm not saying, when I say relax the hand, I'm not saying like go limp, you know. Your hand is active to a degree, but it's just not doing that, that kind of torque creation, that hard work out at the tip. So you're just, you're, you're not gonna have your fingers like swishing around, but you just get used to riding the bow in and letting your arm just kind of swing back into your body freely and allowing the bow to do more of the work. Okay, the G and C string, kind of the same thing there. You're just gonna, it's a little less obvious, that feeling, just because you're not, you know, on the A string, you're actually, we're actually going somewhat downwards towards the earth, so there's more gravity involved. Here though, still on the G string, you're still gonna be able to feel that kind of, delicious feeling of relaxing the hand but still having that power and still being able to keep the string spinning okay and same thing on the c string give it a shot i hope it helps and if you have any questions leave it in the comments below thanks so much